depositing with it helps yeah if you keep depositing yeah why because before you come to receive mamari yeah your woman will have to have been daddied yeah <laughs> You yeah, get? yeah. So we're talking to both men. We're saying, okay, yo, Russ, you're in pain. You need, you need pampering. You need mama. Yeah. In your partner. Yeah. Start by dadding. Yeah. Your wife. All right. This is leadership one on one. Daddy your wife. Yeah. What does daddy mean? Protect. Mm. Spoil. Spoil. Mm. You know, just love on. Mm. Even from a broken place. Mm. So that the day you need pampering, mm. you're going to find a fat bosom mm. to lay your heart, mm. your head on. Your heavy head on. You get mm. and, and someone was saying, yo, it's okay. Mm. It will be fine. Mm. So it helps. But I, I, So the I, reason I, why women are not willing to pamper yeah. or to mama is because, guess what? They haven't been daddy. But if you look at it from this angle, what, do you think it's beneficial for the woman to to mama? Yes. So, um, someone said uh, one of those psychologic questions: Why is why is it that after sex, mm. a man goes to sleep, mm. and a woman wants to cuddle and talk and talk? Mm. So it's about the hormones. Mm. Um, there is a hormone, I think it's called, not oxycotton, mm. um, but there is a hormone released mm. in a woman mm. when she's having sex mm. and her breasts are fondled. Mm. Yeah? Mm. And the same hormone is released mm. in a man mm. when he fondles breasts mm. and has sex. Mm. Now, strangely, that is the same hormone. That mm. is released when a mom breastfeeds a baby mm. and the baby mm. breastfeeds. When a baby breastfeeds... The woman is releasing the baby and the mama. Yes. So so when a woman breastfeeds a baby, she bonds with the baby. I thought, like, oh. And then the baby feels safe and sleeps off. Mm. Now, bring that to grown people having sex. It's the same hormone. Mm. Yeah, mm. that makes a woman now feel safe, want to cuddle, want to bond, mm. and then makes the boy, the man, mm. feel safe and just wants to sleep. Mm. But <laughs> depends on which bed you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Delilah's bed, I don't think you're yeah. gonna be sleeping overnight. Yeah, because yeah. of what could happen. Yeah. So having said that, mm. if you see that there is a natural precedent mm. within our uh, our physiology. Mm that happens with this so that moment of intimacy mm. is it's strange mm. how people undress mm. and yet remain masked mm. weird you get it's no connection it's like prost- prostitution so your husband your wife you have sex but you have secrets hidden deep down and for men you find that because of the things that they're hiding they can't even perform mm. and then there's performance anxiety mm. and then the woman is not satisfied mm. and you're stressed and she's saying yo what's up mm. talk to me it's like no you won't understand and the more masks you wear the more baggage you bear so the, the the issue is that masks will need to start being peeled off, and I envisage that this is a process. It it, it takes time. And you know what it starts with? Mm-hmm. It starts with grace. I I don't know, but this word keeps coming up. Mm-hmm. Where in this case, grace is a beautifying mirror. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's, <laughs> I wouldn't want to say it's a mirror with filters. Mm. That is Snapchat. Mm. But grace here is like when the solution stands before a mirror. Mm. Like I like to say, um, how does a president, what, are, what is a president's thought process when he's in the bathroom? <laughs> when he's bathing? Mm. Because I believe mm. that that is a time where 
the most vulnerable to ourselves. Mm. In that moment of bathing, mm. we are alone and everything we are is there before us. And if you can't meet yourself in a shower, be scared. Did you know <laughs> this this there's a conne- the, 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 the the vulnerability the the rawness of being in a shower the realness of being in a shower did you know that uh, for me i don't know about you Maybe but that's for some reason to bathe. <laughs> <laughs> no not that but for some reason every time i'm in the bathroom or in the shower actually to shower not to whatever but in the bathroom to shower that's the moment ideas come into my life some big time ideas i mean my mind can be locked the whole day but the moment i jump into the shower a flood of ideas just start coming is it because now i'm i'm i'm, I'm you're, relaxed. you're undressed yeah you're unmasked and if you are unashamed yeah then you are open wow to receive so the masking is even psychological because when you get out of the bathroom you 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 put in putting on some mm-hmm. stuff right? don't start again begin covering <laughs> covering <laughs> and, and, and so this is what we are saying what we want to do as solid jamas is is to provide a space and the grace to unmask so mm-hmm. that we can be seen for who we are mm struggling but still great mm. you know when well, you know un- unmasking has its uh, i don't know initial detriments yes for example if uh, a man unmasks and tells the world or tells his wife uh, committing adultery <laughs> you see the bible says that the truth shall set you free mm. sometimes it might give you so <laughs> single <laughs> you might end up be- being a single person <laughs> So it sets you free. Uh, are you kidding? Me? <laughs> But what, what I'm saying is, yeah, it depends. Like truth responds to grace. Mm. Okay. Like mm. if you really want to go deep mm. in truth of a human being, mm. then you have to provide a very large space mm. called grace. Mm. You understand? Mm. As in if you knew that my thoughts, my feelings and my attitude towards you is not going to change if you told me your deepest darkest secret. If I assured you of that, what would hold you back? Mm. Because remember, if it's there, there is a part of you that wants it mm. out. Mm-hmm. And this is why the Bible encourages us to confess. Mm-hmm. Because it tells us confess your sins one to another mm-hmm. and there will be healing. Mm-hmm. You get that? It's mm-hmm. interesting. It does not say confess your sins one to another there may be forgiveness. Mm-hmm. No. It says confess your sins one to another mm-hmm. that there might be healing. Mm-hmm. You get? Mm-hmm. So this means that the absence of words Mm. causes pain. Mm. So if we are hiding something inside, mm. anyone who gives us an opportunity to confess, mm. and that's what the Spirit of God does, and that's what we are supposed to do for, for each other. Mm. To say, Lawrence, I'm giving you a, bl- a cut blush. Mm. There is nothing you can say that can shock me. Mm. There is nothing you can do that's going to change the way that I feel about you. But that's God. Are we not made in his image? Yeah. So I'm challenging us mm. that if we can go and cash in on the grace that God gives us, mm. if we are to help men, mm. we have got to let them have a cut blanche mm. on grace. Mm. Because some of the woundedness that men portray mm. is a fruit of a wound that mm. they suffered. Mm. You get? Mm. So, if you only deal with the things that this man is doing and not understand how he came to this place, mm. then it's cosmetic. Mm. Again, it's still mm. a mask. A mask. Yeah. So, 
now you find a situation where a man is 40 he's uh, in a married a marriage relationship mm. but having a homosexual relationship on the side mm. you have got to ask yourself what is this about mm. and you'll find as i have mm. that many of those people were broken and wounded in their childhood and there was no healing and there was no healing mm. and because they cannot confess the wound only grows mm. worse and worse mm. so for us But the only person who is uh, able to deal i think who is able to deal with uh, stuff like this is is god right is he not in you yeah so what's the difference between you and him if he's in you because I'm coming from the angle of uh, the structures that uh, people try to put up that you've got to be like this to be accepted in our club you've got to be like this to be accepted here and there so when Jesus said let the little children come to me mm. for the kingdom of heaven mm. is for such as these mm. and then in our place said unless you humble yourselves mm. and be like children mm. you will not see the kingdom of, of God mm. So what we learn from children what we learn from children is that children can fight mm. and wound and hurt each other today mm. Mm. and then tomorrow their friends their friends and they're playing again yeah i've seen a clip and it keeps coming through my mind on 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 facebook i saw one time a little boy little caucasian boy came with his family from from up the street yeah, yeah. little the black one Af- i don't use the word black little yeah. afro boy coming from yeah down the street yeah. and they see each other and they just they run, run at each other and they hug, hug each, each other. other children understand grace mm. if you leave children to raise themselves my goodness they will teach us something mm. like if i imagine that if got children put them in a bubble and just make sure they get everything that they need. Mm. Yeah. They will one pick a language mm. and talk mm. that language. I have a cousin. He came to live with us when he was about three. Yeah. And in our home we spoke English. Mm. And Lutor. Mm. And Lugisu. Mm. And then he's the neighbor. The, he only spoke Lugwe. Mm. And then our neighbor spoke Ateso. Mm. Within one year mm. of playing together, mm. the Luguere-speaking boy was mm. speaking English fluently without ever going to school. Mm. Yeah, mm. and our English-speaking boy was speaking Luguere, Ateso, and English without having ever gone to school. So they exchanged mm. languages. Mm. Are you getting that? Mm. That is the grace of children. And when Jesus says the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these, as in children have no judgment. Mm. Children have no biases. Mm. Children take you as you come until you become strange. Mm. That is how children be. Mm. So I'm using this to say if we want to allow men to heal, let's allow ourselves to put ourselves in a position where a man can be authentic and no this is not going to take away anything mm. from me mm. because i tell women that a man's ego is your best friend mm. and a man's ego lies in his ball mm. the thing that makes him a man mm. so if you speak to that man to that ego mm. and you see what abigail did mm. is abigail did the opposite most women would say you're stupid you're this you're this mm. abigail said by the way you're not stupid Mm. By the way you're not foolish. Mm. So if your husband if you're there and your your woman listening and your husband does something really strange something stupid. Mm. Instead of telling him he's stupid which he already knows he's done something stupid. Tell him remind him and say by the way for me you were in my mind yeah. you're a wise person. Mm. You you are brilliant, you're wise, you're strong. Mm. Because you and I in the time we've spent in coaching I've come to learn the importance of affirmation rather than condemnation. Yeah, 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 yeah. So even the Bible has so much more affirmation. I keep I was telling someone today that when God made man and he, uh, and and even put them in the garden, yeah. evil existed. Yeah. The problem was when they now discovered the evil, the evil. Mm. Then they discovered that they actually have the capacity mm. to be evil. Mm. So if we want to remove the mask, mm. we have to call out the jama. 
mm. on the inside. Mm. And say, you have 